All right. Let's try to bounce back. Party all the time. This is a real opening, by the way. <laughs> it's the Nimso Larson where the opponent tries to save the bishop. Uh, it's a real opening, actually. I promise. And then what you do here, because black wants to play e5, you, you try to stop it. And sometimes they try to go, and then you have to move your king. And then they go here. And then you still try to contain them. I think I can take the pawn, actually, but... Uh, this is obviously super stupid. Do not try this at home. Or at your local chess club. You can move the king early in the game. As long as the king is behind pawns, it's, it should be okay. I like these kind of dynamic positions because I think, in general, I'm a better dynamic player than my opponents. In general. Um, not always. Depends who the opponent is. Uh, that's still a free pawn, but I, I'm a little bit... Worried that if I take it, bad things will happen in my center. Go here. I don't think that's necessarily the best move. Thing is, black is very close to castling, so I have to be careful. I can't get in a huge fight because all of a sudden black might castle, and now there's no huge fight to be had at all. Okay, we're just going to develop some pieces because I don't think it's possible to play with a king in the center without pieces. I'm going to try to get some pieces in the game. Position opens up, I'll actually have some, you know, use for my pieces. You see, I was not, I was not exaggerating. This is a really stupid looking position, actually. Um, at least now I have pawn presence. I think at some point this is going to happen. How do I know these things? I'm going to try to keep a time advantage this game because when things get low time, it's never good. So 30 seconds up so far. Trying to control the knight's development. I don't know what that does. I'm going to develop another piece. So now I have some pieces ready to go. Some super vague ideas maybe. That 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 is a free pawn now. But somehow I cannot bring myself to capture it. It really does not feel that free. Take, take, take. I mean, I'm missing everything, so maybe it's not the best idea. Let's play bishop h3. We take the whole diagonal. Something along these lines. We have a 40 second time advantage, which is good. I don't quite understand that move. <sighs> Just can't see anything. Oh, it, I, I will say, I think, I think my blitz has gotten worse ever since my classical has gotten better. I don't know if it's the fact that, like, I don't care about it anymore that much, so I just, you know, I don't know. It's very weird. It's normally the opposite. Rook c1. We're gonna go here. Yes, of course. I'm 
mean, I, I'm still surviving. I'm still surviving. I'm still surviving. It's 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 a check. That's all it is. And then I just put my king on g2. It's just a check. And if anything, I can blockade the pawn, and then it won't even be a check anymore. King g2. My opponent's a human. They're gonna make a mistake. They're putting some good pressure on me, but I don't... I mean, that move doesn't even have a threat, right? I guess they're trying to get rid of my queen? Okay, let's let's play against the pawn. Do logical stuff. We can give a check. I need to bring my rook back into the game somehow. Okay, that move makes sense too. So we're gonna bring these pieces back to play against... And then at some point, maybe I'm actually gonna become the attacker. Okay, let's obviously not hang the A pawn. Although, I could have allowed it, maybe as the A file, but whatever. I would, I thought that was hanging everything for a second. There is this move, but somehow I feel, I, I, I have ways to get out of it. I have a lot of ideas. Once my knight gets to the middle, it's gonna get quite claustrophobic, I think, for my opponent. Right, so there, there's kind of like the panic move. Now we go here. We're going to pick up a pawn. I'm trying to see if we had anything better. Uh, I can walk my king to e2 slowly. We're going to get closer to the pawn. Block the entrance. Yes. Of course, mistake. Opponent doesn't see it, no problem. Um, Rook is coming to help. Right, and so now I think I can just take on d2. Nice. Nice! We defeat a master. Now we have three out of four. Um, I think I've played this person before. What move did he miss? I think he just missed that he was playing a much better player. I mean, that wasn't a good game. It was, uh, it was a really stupid opening where he was obviously better. Probably much better. Uh, I mean, here, he's just completely winning. I was just ready to lose again. Uh, my blitz rating should be 2,900. No, it shouldn't. See, that just shows that you do not know how to evaluate people's chess skills. <laughs> no, definitely it shouldn't be that. But yeah, I, I'm not playing that much uh, online blitz anymore. Oi. Ah! How much better would I do if I didn't hide my classical repertoire? If I played online the same openings I was playing over the board and preparing over the board, I'd probably be like... 2630 online. Reverse. <laughs> Hikaru said I should be 2900. I mean, Hikaru says a lot of stuff. Maybe I should be 2900. Maybe not. I mean, I think I'm like a 2800 online player. But that doesn't, you know. I don't think I'm 2900. <laughs> 